Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new attractions coming to the Southern California theme parks in 2023. We did one of these videos last year. It was very fun, so I'm very excited for this year's as well. So we're going to go on progressive timeline order. So what's opening first to what's opening last that we know of so far. First up is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That opens on January 27th, and by the way, these are official opening dates I'm going by, not by any soft opening previews or team member previews or annual pass holder previews, because technically Mario Kart and Super Nintendo World will probably be open first, but officially, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway opens first on January 27th as part of the Disney 100 celebration with World of Color 1 and Wondrous Journeys. And this is a clone from Florida, but it's going to be a little bit bigger. A couple additional scenes, scenes in the queue. And I'm very excited. This looks like such a cute ride. And I cannot wait to ride it. Ride it. I have my opening day tickets. And I'll be there. So if you're there and you see me, be sure to say hi. There'll be a lot of us there hanging out uh, for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Disneyland on January 27th, Friday. Next up is the highly anticipated Super Nintendo World. That opens officially opens just a few weeks later on February 17th. That's about like three weeks later after Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. As of this recording, this is January 9th, 2023. Today, you're able to get an, your annual pass holder preview for the land if you're an annual pass holder. And those annual pass holder previews start on January 29th, which is just two days after Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. There are some team member previews on the 19th to 21st. And maybe some scattered soft openings if you're lucky and you're there on the day. But yeah, official grand opening is February 17th, 2023. And you'll have to make a reservation in the app. It's, a, it's like what Pets use is a virtual queue if the land fills up. And if it's not at capacity, then you can walk right in, which is fantastic. Express, you can, if you have a Platinum Pass, you can use Express to skip the reservation after 3 p.m. And... Mario Kart will not be accepting Express at any form at this time. You'll be able to go. The only way to use Express on Mario Kart is if you get a VIP tour, which I know is sold out, at least for that first weekend. At least the first two days are sold out. But VIP will be going through Express on Mario Kart. The rest, you'll just have to stand in line. It's a very long and very nicely detailed line, so it shouldn't be that big of a uh, deal, hopefully. And with the timed entries, the line hopefully wouldn't get too long anyway. But yeah, Super Nintendo World, very excited for that. Stay tuned for lots and lots of coverage on that here on the, this channel, as I'm at Universal Studios most often. And subscribe, again, for a full how-to guide that will come out on February 16th of Super Nintendo World. I'm going to go and record that on AP Preview Day. No pictures or video are allowed until AP preview day, so if you get in the land with a soft opening or a team, if you get invited to the team member preview, do not take pictures or video of the land because you know, I wouldn't want anyone to get in trouble and not be allowed in the land again. Um, AP preview is when I've been told pictures and video will be allowed to be posted online, so I'll go ahead and make a video, a full how-to video, and you guys voted. Do you want that coming out on February 16th for Super Nintendo World? And, of course, grand opening on February 17th. I'll be there on opening day after work, uh, so about 4 p.m. So if you see me again, say hello. Um, and, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're excited about Super Nintendo World finally opening up here at Universal Studios Hollywood. On this list, I'm not really doing any entertainment. I just want to do major attractions. The only time um, I mentioned entertainment was Worlds of Color 1 and Wondrous Journeys because it just was opening on the same day as Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. But... I will make an honorable mention that on February 24th, just about a week after Super Nintendo World officially opens, the Magic Happens Parade returns to the Disneyland Resort. It ran for two weeks before the park shut down in March of 2020. I got to see it a couple of times. I have POVs of the video of that parade on my channel in 4K as well, so you can go check that out. But it will be making its grand return to the Disneyland Resort on February 24th for hopefully much longer than two weeks. But the next official grand opening is on March 8th, and that is Toontown. Yes, Toontown went through a massive reimagining as Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway saved it from being completely demolished because it definitely was on the rumored chopping block for a while there. But luckily it got saved. It's such a vibrant, awesome land. I'm so glad it's getting a nice refresh. 
a lot of the interactive elements that were taken away, those spaces that were turned into really dead spaces, those spaces have been removed and replaced with new interactive elements that are fit for 2023 in today's age, which is awesome. And there's a new park and refurbished areas. The trolley tracks are gone. So instead of a stagnant land, this should be a vibrant moving land once again. And it reopens on March 8th, 2023, one year after it closed, to join Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway as a completed and refreshed land. The last two projects are kind of up in the air because we don't have any dates for them yet. And those are the Knott's Bay Farm Fiesta Village slash Jaguar Renovation or sorry, Montezuma's Revenge Renovation Project, as well as a SeaWorld's Arctic Rescue Coaster. So I'll go uh, by terms of excitement, I guess. Um, so first, or terms of, of importance and significance, and I think Knott's project is bigger than SeaWorld's project because that is a revamped coaster in a whole new revamped area, where SeaWorld is just a revamped coaster, or a new coaster, which is amazing in its own right as well. But yes, Knott's is Fiesta Village will be opening in spring 2023, maybe somewhere between March and May, depending on the progress. That'll come with a revamped um, Montezuma's Revenge that will re come with randomized launches, which is really cool, which is means a whole new, uh, like an LSM or LIM launching system. And all the new, all the eateries will be revamped. The arcade is gone. There'll be new gift shops. There's new awnings, and the whole Fiesta Village area will get a nice refresh. It looked nice before, but it'll look absolutely amazing now. So I'm very excited for that. That's coming to Knott's in spring of 2023, probably uh, around the time the Boysenberry Festival starts, which would be a nice qu nice thing to start with, a nice Synergy Corporation thing. <laughs> Lastly, that leaves SeaWorld's Arctic Rescue, Rescue Coaster as the last new thing opening in 2023. This will also be opening in spring 2023 and again could potentially open before Fiesta Village. There's just no exact dates given for either of them yet, um, but they should probably be opening within a couple of months of each other, if not sooner than that. See, uh, this Arctic Rescue Coaster is a straddle launch coaster, family launch straddle coaster, and SeaWorld, have been, SeaWorld and Busch Gardens have been putting these in a lot of their parks. Busch Garden Williamsburg is getting something called the Dark Coaster, which is basically Arctic res Rescue in the Dark thing, Space Mountain. And Arctic Rescue and the Dark Coaster are basically smaller versions of the Wave Breaker from SeaWorld San Antonio, which is a cool jet ski style straddle coaster that goes right over the park's pond and lake. So definitely go check out a POV of that. Looks amazing. SeaWorld San Diego's won't be as tall as that. I think uh, just a height of 30 feet because of height restrictions due to the California Coastal Commission. But nonetheless, it should be a great family edition after they just had a great thrilling edition in Emperor last year. SeaWorld's doing a great job balancing the roller coasters out for families and thrill seekers alike each and every year. And upping their coaster count, this will be their sixth roller coaster in California er, in San Diego. And rightfully so, they are San Diego's coaster capital, as they call themselves. Although, I find that title funny because, you know, only other real theme park in uh, San Diego is Legoland. And I guess you can count Belmont Park. Belmont Park has about two or th maybe three roller coasters. And uh, Legoland has like a four or something. So, I guess there they are, the coaster capital. There are some pretty decent competitors. But SeaWorld certainly has the best of the best out in San Diego. Which new ride or attraction or land are you excited for the most here in 2023? And look at that, all of them are opening really before summertime, which is great. I mean, we'll get we'll get all this great stuff before June, most likely. You notice Six Flags is not as on this list. Magic Mountain is not opening anything at least substantial in terms of rides um, this year. But markers have been seen or placed along the Lucky Dragon. A Lucky Fortune, I think called Lucky Dragon, abandoned restaurant for a potential 2024 edition, potentially to compete with Universal's Fast and Furious coaster. But which attraction are you most excited for out of these five or six attractions coming here in the first half of 2023? Me personally, of course, Super Nintendo World, but Mickey and Minnie's would be number two. Let me know your list in the comments below, and as always, have a fantastic day.